happy to introduce, thank you very much. I'm really happy to introduce two great fighters right now, and we're going to find out from Chuck Webner uh, exactly how Sylvester Stallone did contact him. So, uh, Chuck Webner is going to be in Rocky II. He is with us as well as the great middleweight champion, Rocky Graziano. Let's have a nice welcome for Chuck and Rocky right now. Chuck Webner, Rocky Graziano. Nice to see you. Chuck, nice to have you. Rocky? Welcome back. Last time Rocky Graziano was on the show, we had him singing. How you doing? Let's let me start with the the predictions first, okay? Chuck Wepner, you were you were in the the ring for 15 rounds with Muhammad Ali. Uh, it's now the twilight of his career. How do you feel about this Friday's fight? Well, I'd have to go with Ali again. Uh, I think it is the twilight of his career, and I uh, expect it to be a very tough fight for him because uh, I believe Leon Spinks is underrated. I think he's a very very good fighter. But I think Ali will uh, be able to pull it out just one more time and go out in a blaze of glory. I, I predict a 15-round uh, decision for Decision Ali. for Ali. Yes. Rocky Graziano, good to see you again. Okay, Looking Billy. as fit as ever. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's your prediction for Ali? <laughs> well, Ralph? I decided from Don and Chuck here before that some way, somehow, some lucky thing that Ali's got, I don't think, he, I th I don't think he's... Uh, it would be in good shape for the fight, whatever. I thought that I thought before I came in here, I was going to make a bet on Spinks. But now I'm going to make a bet on, on Ali because I think something's going to happen. Somehow, somehow, this here guy made boxing in the last 10, 15 years. And this here guy, is, I think, is one of the greatest. And I hate to see a guy like this here lose the fight. And I think that Ali is going to lick him somehow, some way. I don't know. A little bit of magic. <laughs> <huh>? Something. <laughs> Something. Okay. He, he's a hell of a guy, Ali, and he's done a lot, of, lot for boxing, and he brought it back. And anybody that says no is full of baloney. Okay. <laughs> I think we all are in agreement on that point, for okay. sure. Here's a question from a fellow right here in the first row, for I think both of our... Yes, yes. This question is first, directed both. Stand up. Okay. Both to uh, um, Chuck Rocky and, and Rocky. Chuck. Yeah. Um, how, what kind of thoughts were going through your mind when you're, you're both contenders in a <coughs> position in a championship fight? And what were you thinking as you first went out there? And, and more specifically, how did you feel about actually going to blows with uh, Muhammad Ali, Chuck? Well, uh, quite naturally, uh, I was excited. I wasn't nervous, because uh, maybe just a little bit, because I, I really don't uh, get nervous in a fight. I've had a lot of fights, and I, that's one of the reasons that I don't waste anything before. But uh, it, was a, it was a great thing for me. I was very excited, and uh, I was looking forward to it. I wanted the chance to go in against the, the best in the world. Mm -hmm. I still think Ali is probably the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. And uh, unfortunately, I fought him three and a half years ago when he was still a great fighter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would have rather have fought him now when he slept a lot. But uh, uh, I think I did the best I could, and... Uh, Ali was still great, and uh, at least if I lost, I lost to the best. And how about Rocky Graziano? When the time, take us back to the position when you were a contender. Tell us who you were in against. Well, I wasn't afraid of nobody. I, 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 <laughs> I, really, I was a, a crazy kid to start with, and you got to be a nut, to, a crazy guy to become a fighter anyway. But uh, I wasn't. I was. Uh, I would thought I could lick anybody in the world. I got in the ring with Joe Lewis. I mean, in the gym, kidding around, and <laughs> Willie Pep and everybody. Well, wait a second. What happened with you and Joe Lewis? I, that's it's Joe Lewis. Be a good story. I walked, jumped in the ring in Florida. We were, we, he was uh, training, and, uh, and I had gloves. On. I was going to bite the next in the next <laughs> ring, and I got in with Joe Lewis, and Joe Lewis says. Come here, little boy. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah. And Joe Lewis is one hell of a guy. This guy's got a good got, new biography out right now, too. He's got he's some good reviews. good guy, and he's a, he's a heck of a guy. And, uh, and the thing is that uh, I, was, I was really never scared in the ring, because if you were scared, you can't win anyway. Uh, an example, my manager, my first, second, fourth round, I was fighting four rounds in, in, in some place. Uh, in MacArthur Stadium, some a four-arm bout. I was fighting a guy with a flat nose, a cauliflower. <laughs> so my somebody very unlike yourself. A guy like this here. <laughs> sure. So I sort of got my mind. So my manager said, "I said, what are you scared of this here guy?" He says. The only reason why that guy has got a flat nose, a cauliflower rear, and he's fighting a four-rounder, he can't fight. <laughs> Which is the truth. I got four rounds. But anyway, but, but I think I just made a decision that Ali somehow, some way, is going to win.